Bank of Green Paribas Short na odpowiedzialność i zrównoważony rozwój. Zgodnie z celami zrównoważonego rozwoju ONZ. Odpowiedzialnie podchodzimy do prowadzenia naszej działalności i finansowania gospodarki, spraw społecznych, naszych pracowników i oczywiście do środowiska naturalnego. W końcu BNP Paribas to bank zielonych zmian. Dlatego wprowadzamy zielone produkty i usługi wspierające transformację energetyczną. Finansujemy odnawialne źródła energii oraz wspieramy poprawę efektywności energetycznej i termomodernizację. Oferujemy zrównoważone produkty i instrumenty tradycyjne dla klientów z różnych segmentów, w tym przedsiębiorców i rolników oraz coraz więcej rozwiązań dla klientów indywidualnych, na przykład zieloną hipotekę. Jako odpowiedzialna instytucja finansowa monitorujemy ryzyko ESG w działalności klientów. Wyróżniliśmy dziewięć sektorów, szczególnie wrażliwych pod kątem zrównoważonego rozwoju, których klienci podlegają specjalnej analizie wpływu na z niektórymi szczególnie szkodliwymi branżami pożegnaliśmy się na dobre. Minimalizujemy wpływ naszej działalności na środowisko. W naszych oddziałach i centralach rezygnujemy z jednorazowego plastiku i stawiamy na recykling. Minimalizujemy zużycie papieru i digitalizujemy nasze procesy. Korzystamy z energii z odnawialnych źródeł. Zmieniamy flotę samochodową na elektryczną i hybrydową. Aby przeciwdziałać zmianom klimatu, edukujemy naszych pracowników i klientów i kontrahentów. Najważniejsze jest wspólne zaangażowanie. Dlatego nawiązujemy liczne partnerstwa, wspieramy inicjatywy i organizacje społeczne działające na rzecz środowiska. Osadziliśmy 60 tysięcy drzew i hodujemy pół miliona pszczół. Zielone zmiany dla świata zaczynamy od siebie. Dołącz do nas. Apart from the bank of green changes, this is the bank of uh, the changing world. So I would like to see the clock because we have 15 minutes for our summary. We would like to summarize all these three panels. Uh, so Anna Rechnik, um, agriculture. Uh, changes uh, in terms of regulations with Lucian Paszkiewicz, food processing, and Arkadiusz Rutkowski, consumer at the uh, edge of green changes. We talk about revolutions. Uh, we were supposed to start with uh, processing the food from the field. Let's start from the fork. When I heard about the last uh, two uh, panels uh, of Lucian's, uh, I thought this was just uh, my panel as well. Uh, we need cooperation, a consumer, maybe an impulse, maybe an inspiration, but uh, a consumer can't do things alone. Uh, the same goes for producers or distributors. Uh, I will talk um, about the consumer perspective, and we were thinking with our panel speakers, for us, um, we need to approach people, uh, and we uh, concluded our discussion that in the era of post-pandemic, the consumers think about some kind of safety. We focused on health. So if we would manage to show the European Green Deal through the perspective that you, the consumer, is going to benefit in terms of health because you are, you are going to get a better food, a better for your digestion system, then we will be able to reach a, a consumer. So education is key. I can uh, say that uh, the awareness in Poland is very low. So if we talk about 70% of people who know something about sustainable development, then uh, we need to look at their actions. So the behavior of uh, Poles uh, entered this path. One million people do not eat meat. Another two million think about not eating meat maybe in the future. So flexitarian approach, this is the key word these days, very popular one. So we can't do um, anything on the market if we do not offer good prices. So these products are going to be more expensive. So it doesn't matter whether this is a big city or a village. Also, a consumer uh, in a big city may not be able 
able to afford it. So this economic aspect will be uh, uh, a significant element determining uh, the behavior. So remember about the prices because this is one of the key elements. And remember about this awareness of our customers. If I were supposed to find one word I would like to share with you, so uh, Marmalade uh, would be the, uh, the communication communication towards the society, towards our consumers. So this would be the responsibility of the uh, regulatory bodies. We may have different opinions, but if we talk about uh, other aspects, there is an expectation so that the government is doing that for us. Maybe the Warsaw government or the Brussels government. So the consumer uh, believes that this should also be the responsibility of the, gov of the government. Well, the products must be certified. Well, they are certified, but the consumers do not realize that. Uh, so we need to provide that information to our consumers. So this is the PR activity. That would be a challenge. It must be simple. It must be based on pictures, you should add something. And schools, yes, I think schools should also be involved. The educational program, so we are going to teach that to our children. My daughter is 21 years old. Uh, she reads books. Uh, it's fantastic. But at school, she received nothing from the green programs. And I have a daughter that uh, does not read books, but she is the guardian of the ecology. She is 16 year old. So this five, six years in education, this is a huge gap because this younger one uh, learned that in the kindergarten. So we can observe that really. So these uh, Greta Thunberg are going to be more and more uh, among younger generation. My daughters are 16 and 14 years old. 14 year olds that uh, is not eating any meat. Um, we uh, limited the consumption of meat and the discussion uh, with her, uh, she has no doubts why she does not eat meat. Uh, thank you very much. Let's move on to food processing. A group uh, of panelists or our experts uh, gave us a significant feedback related to the fact that food producers in Poland are prepared for the green yield uh, for many years. It is not a novelty for them. But definitely farm to fork strategy that was announced a year ago put them out of their comfort zone. So uh, significant discussions started in all the sectors of food uh, uh, production, how real this is. Uh, of course, it's uh, understandable because this is a significant change. We talked about changes and the change is an element um, that, um, uh, well, means that if you say you like changes, uh, it can imply that you don't really like changes. And there are some elements related to uh, the production of healthy, sustainable food. This is the natural environment and the production of this natural environment. And uh, securing resources at the lowest level of its use. So this is something that our food um, sector is focusing on. So we have the lowest level of automation in, in this sector in Europe compared to other European countries. Perhaps the scale in uh, economy in terms of uh, food production shows that this is well-developed business. Another element in terms of sustainable food production is social responsibility. We know that uh, thanks to the European Green Deal, it integrates two players, the producer, the primary producer, and the food processor, and the consumer. This is what Alex uh, uh, said. This is what rel uh, ref relates from your panel and our panel, when Rafan Grusheczka from Maspex underlined the role of education in all, among all the players within 
uh, a particular production ecosystem. Uh, the consumer awareness is raising. 70% of people know something about uh, sustainable development, but they can't define it very precisely. 17%, these are people who are the forerunners and the ambassadors of the Green Deal. And the third element, this is the business aspect, profitability. So to reduce the costs, the costs are too high. So we need to increase the profit and decrease or mitigate the financial risk. How can, it, how can we do it? Um, most probably, we can engage research, science. This is what uh, I asked Francis. Uh, can sustainability be the competitive edge? Yes, that's right. We have uh, competence to do so. Uh, research is going to lead to innovation. In a very traditional way, uh, in a traditional business like food industry, there is room for innovation. This is what David showed us. So if you believe that something can be done, it means that somebody else has a prototype for it already. So if we talk about innovation, they will translate into a particular technology. So it's, it's, it's a must. It will be done. And the Polish companies are really doing it. OK, perfect timing. Anja, your turn. So now it's time for the field, uh, my panel speakers. Yes, going back to the roots. My panel speakers um, said that the Green Deal and uh, the sustainable production in agriculture, uh, this is a reliable uh, compromise. Well, compromise can be a bit negative, uh, but uh, uh, sensibility and uh, uh, we need to save the energy, but based on knowledge, based on science, based on technologies, but also uh, sensible legislation around it and financial instruments. What's more, we need to build relations or include in this environment, we need to focus on the entire value chain because it must, it must go in parallel. Like we are here, so these particular links must be compatible with each other. Uh, we need to have this uh, push and pull, so we need to uh, we need to do that from uh, different, uh, we have a massive attack from the air, from land, and from the water. Uh, so what is the most significant leverage when we address it? It's going to go forward. So the profitability of production, this is uh, the key. But uh, what's interesting here uh, is that of course, profitability is related to the access to technology and science and knowledge. We need to know how to reach the technologies, what they are about and how to use them. But again, apart from technology, we need to have financial resources. And uh, together with technology, we have also some barriers. Uh, some uh, mental barriers, the most important one related to the technology is that a Polish farmer, I live in a village, uh, and the use of a uh, lawn mower. Everybody must have their own lawn mower, like everybody in Warsaw must have uh, their own car, so we are not really open to to share uh, resources because not everybody is going to um, be able to afford it. So it's going to be uh, like a niche approach and mass access to technology must be provided by uh, the common service sector 
and uh, organizing uh, ourselves around this idea. Another barrier, another mental barrier related to technology is that the lack of trust to digital solutions. Digital solutions is just a black box, but in uh, case of agriculture, it re refers to providing your data of what is going on in your field. This is very surprising because the lead Poland is a leader in mobile uh, technology. So your um, fear is a bit uh, contradictory. It, uh, it is um, but it, it is like both sides. Uh, there are um, benefits and also fears regarding to the use of Facebook. But it means to make my data available, showing how I grow my vegetables and, and, and uh, other plants. So um, a little bit uh, uh, of uh, being afraid how the data is going to be used later on. Maybe this is going to be used against me if I apply for a loan or maybe I have a loan on some conditions if it turns out something is wrong on my field so maybe the conditions uh, are going to be changed uh so uh, it changed for me uh, because I made my data available. I wanted to uh, show, to say one more thing. Uh, the profitability also refers to the need to organize themselves among uh, the farmers to concentrate the commodity mass so that as a group together they can enter the market and have uh, better market standing. It can be promoted, it can be named, it can be labeled, and we start operating on the market on a different um, in a different way, so reaching the market differently. This consolidation of the commodity mass uh, requires a certain organization between different uh, farmers, some partnership between different farmers. So uh, we said that we have this unhealthy competition between farms. So uh, the change of the mindset from a competitor to a partner. Perfect. I would like to say that I am going to repeat again and again the education. We need to have the showers with uh, electronic visualization uh, that is taking information how much water you use, uh, what can be done with this water, and you are just staying in a hotel another, yet another minute and uh, taking this shower. I need to add one thing. Today, we had uh, significant words that were emphasized here. This is what Bartek Gurbaniak said in his presentation. Most probably, uh, he is a Finnish. Uh, uh, this, uh, this is what we need, the Finnish approach uh, to green screen is really a green screen, not like a blue screen. Lucian Paszkiewicz put a dot, Anna Rychlit, Arkadiusz Rutkowski. Thank you very much for the summary. A round of applause uh, for all the participants. I believe that uh, our participants online um, realized that this was really a very good conference. Uh, I would like to invite you already for the next year, so we will uh, see what kind of conclusions we are going to have next year. Um, See you next year.